So we have talked about sequences where we talked about list, tuple and set. Now when you go back to list, normally we can have multiple values in one place, which is a list. The thing is, when you work with list, you work with the index values. Example, if you see on the screen, if you have multiple values, and if I want to pick a particular value there, I have to use the index numbers. That's good. But let's say if you want to create a phone book, how will you do it? So let's say you got a phone numbers as values. And if I want to fetch them, I need the index number. Difficult to find, right? And that's where we can use something called a dictionary, which sounds like a dictionary like this. And yes, we got words and the meaning of it. So that's the key and a value pair where you have a word and the meaning. On the other hand, you got a key and a value. That's what we want to do here. Something like this. So let's say I want to create a data here. So we can have any values here, right? And then to refer this, we need to use the index numbers. Now, when it comes to dictionary, this is not how you do it. You basically need a value which is there, but you also need a key for it. So how will you define that? First of all, you can't use square bracket. We have to use the curly brackets. But now you will say, hey, that's for the set. We can't use it for the dictionary. We can. If you remember in the video of set, we have talked about the curly brackets where we wanted to create the empty set. And then the type was dictionary is because this curly brackets is actually for the dictionary, which we can use in set. Okay, so this is the set now. It is not dictionary yet. How will you mention this is a dictionary? You have to specify the key for it. Example, I can say this is the key, which is 0 is the key for 34, 1 is the key for 35, 2 is the key for 67, and 3 is the key for 8. And it works. You can see there's no error. And if I want to fetch a value here, let's say I want to fetch this 67 here. So I have to say 2. And this will work. Now you'll say, Hey, that's what we can do in list as well, right? Anyway, we are using index numbers here. So the beauty is this key can be anything. But in the case of list, it has to be index value. So let me create another type of dictionary here with different values. So let's say this 8 is Naveen. This 2 is Harsh. 1, Sushil. And 0 is Kiran. Now what we are doing is for every value here, we are specifying the key for it, okay? Now, when you say enter, there is no error. But if you want to fetch a particular value, let's say uh, this values can be anything. It can be age or it can be, okay, that's not my age, eight. But this can be anything. This can be age, this can be roll numbers, this can be a phone number, this can be anything. Now, if you want to fetch a particular value, I have to specify the key. We can't work with index numbers now. So if you say one, which is not the index number, right? You can say it says, hey, uh, you are saying one, but there's a key error. I'm not find, I'm not able to find any key here, which is one. So you have to be very specific with the key now. So you can specify, okay, I want to fetch data with Hush. So Hush is a key and 67 is the value. You can't do other way around. You can't specify the value and say, okay, I want to get the key uh, in this syntax. Okay, so this is how it works. Now, one thing to observe, when you say one here, of course, one is not the key and that's why you got the error here. And Hirsch is there and that's why you got the value. There's another way of getting this data. So you can say get data.get and you can pass the key here. So you can pass Hirsch. So get is a function, belongs to dictionary. And when you said, when you do this, you will get the same value. So this syntax and this syntax are different, but does the same thing. It will give you the data. But it differs when you are saying get and specify something, some key which does not exist. In that case, it will not give you error. It will say, okay, I'm not able to find it. What are you trying to get? Let's do this. Let's try to print and let's see what get returns when it doesn't find. It says none. Okay, so it says none when it's not able to find it. But this is not something I want to show to my users, right? In that case, what you can do is you can say data.get and let's say I want to specify a key which exists. Let's say Kiran. And alternately, of course, Kiran will print 34. We know that. But in case if you have this dictionary which is created dynamically where you are not sure what are the keys and values. In that case, you can have an alternate text where you can say, okay, not found. So if Kiran is there in the dictionary, great, you will get the value. If not, it should print not found. When you say enter, you got 34 because Kiran is there in the list or in the dictionary. But if you try to use, let's say one here, which is not there in the dictionary or any value, not just one, even if I say a different name here, let's say Gaurav, enter, you can see it says not found. It's because 
it's not there, right? Gaudav is not there in the, in the dictionary. And that's why you got not found. Uh, let's try something. So I want to create this data once again, okay, the way we have done, but with one change. Let me repeat a key here. Let's say I want to repeat Hirsch. And then I want to repeat a value as well. Let's say 34, okay? So you can see the value 34 has been repeated. The key, Hirsch, is also repeated. Now when I do this, and when I print data, observe something. Hirsch is getting printed only once. I mean, Hirsch is there only once. And the value of 34 is, is two times. That means this keys here, this Kiran, Sushil, Hirsch, Naveen, those are the keys. That represents a set. That means a key is a collection of set. So you can say keys are set and the values are list. Okay. Uh, and that's why you can see the values are getting repeated because in list we can repeat it. Now with that knowledge, if I want to create a dictionary from a set and a value, can we do this? Let's try. Let me create keys here, which will be a set. We know that now. And let me have Naveen and let's say Hitesh and Shamik. So we got these keys here. And of course, even if I repeat the elements, it will have unique values. And then let's say we have values, which will be a part of a list, and we can give some values to it. And it doesn't matter what these values are. And you have to make sure that these are matching. So three values, three keys, three values, enter, no problem. So we got a set here, we got a list here. Now I can create a dictionary, let's say dict1, and I can combine these two. Okay, so how do you combine a keys and a value? Now when you want to combine something, there's a function in build in Python called zip in which you can pass the keys and you can pass the values. Now what zip will do is zip will, this, zip will basically take these values and it will combine it, but it will not create a dictionary out of it. So if you want to convert this zip output into a dictionary, you have to use a function which is inbuilt again, which is called dict. And when you say enter, let's try to print dict1 and you can see we got the values. So Hitesh is 34, Naveen 64, Shramik 87. And things to remember, the sequence is not maintained. Naveen was supposed to be 34, but Hitesh 34. So there's something you have to also understand the behavior of uh, the set. If you don't want this to happen, then you have to use the list here. That should work. So let me clear the screen. And let's say, uh, let me print the data again just to see if the data is there. Yes. What if I want to remove the element? In that case, you can say data dot pop. So there's a function called pop inside the dictionary. And you can specify the index value here. So let's say I want to remove uh, Naveen from here. So I can say that and delete. It returns the value of Naveen. But now if you print data, Naveen is not there. Not just this, you can also use del, which we have used before. And you can specify the dictionary. But this time you have to say something like this, this syntax, social. And now I hope social is not there. Okay, so Kiran and both 34. In fact, you can also have a dictionary inside dictionary, something like this. Let's say I want to create data and I want to get a new dictionary now. And let's say this time we are going for the programming languages, the programming languages with the IDEs. So let's say for JavaScript, we use VS Code. For Python, I'm going to use the list because for Python, we can use VS Code or we can use PyCharm. And for, let's say for Java, now the thing is for Java, for different modules of Java, we use different IDs. Example, let's say if you want to work with uh, Code Java, use something else. So I can use a dictionary here and I will say for Code Java, I'm going to use, let's say, VS Code. And when it comes to Spring, let's say, I'm going to use IntelliJ IDEA. Okay. Okay. Now that's a big code. <laughs> I mean, big uh, dictionary. And when you say enter, there's no error. If you print data, this is what you got. Now, let's say if I want to know about JS, of course, I can say JS here. There should not be an issue. It says VS Code, the ID. When it comes to Python, it will give you a list. Then you can specify, okay, I want to get one value and it will give you VS Code. Now, when it comes to Java, you got a dictionary. Now, if you want to be specific, okay, I want to work with Spring. In that case, you can say Java and you can say Spring. It will say IntelliJ IDEA. So that's how basically you can work with dictionaries. So dictionary can have a list. Dictionary can have a dictionary inside it. And yeah, that's all about dictionary. So that's it from this video. See you in the next part.